All right, this question looks like it is about punctuation. We have a, a comma versus a period. Those are two different ways of connecting ideas. And and also kind of factors in. But let's see what we got here and, and try to make some sense of this. Um, it seems like one crazy long sentence again. A lot of that in this section. Uh, the first computerized spreadsheet, Dan Bricklin's VisiCalc, improved financial record keeping not only by providing users with an easy means of adjusting data in spreadsheets, but also by automatically updating all calculations that were dependent on these adjustments. Prior to VisiCalc's release, changing a paper spreadsheet often required redoing the entire sheet by hand, a process that could take days. Yeah, you may have heard this just in me reading it. We definitely need a period here. This is just too many ideas. Um, I'm gonna highlight, like I always do, to kind of show you where the sentences are. Um, the, the main, the first sentence is this, the first computerized spreadsheet improved financial record keeping. Now, there isn't a comma here, but I'm gonna switch over to the green uh, underline to just kind of show that all this stuff is extra in a way, but there's no comma here. Um, it, it, I could have cut it off, right? I could have just said the first computerized spreadsheet improved financial record keeping. That's fine. Not only, but also is kind of a weird way of adding more information and, and it feels kind of like it needs some commas. It doesn't always, it just depends on the situation. Uh, the, the point here though, is all of this is one idea. We then get to a period because now we start with our second idea, which I'll use the yellow for. Um, uh, changing a paper spreadsheet often required redoing the entire sheet by hand. That's my second idea, right? Now that is a sentence that could stand on its own. Changing a paper spreadsheet often required redoing the entire sheet by hand. It's a little strange because our subject is, is not really a noun in the sense that we think of it. It's not a person, place, or thing. It's that other way of thinking about nouns, a person, place, thing, or idea. It's an idea. So it, it, it's a little less physical, and that might make us nervous, make us think maybe it's a verb. But no, changing uh, required is the subject-verb pair there. So what I'm getting at is that that makes this its own sentence. We have some extra clauses attached. That's what the prior to VisiCalc's release is doing. That's why that extra little comma is there is we're attaching an extra clause. But because there are two sentences, even if there are these extra pieces attached to those sentences, there are very limited ways that we can kind of separate those two sentences. A period is the, the best way because it's what we're most familiar with and it's usually just the safest. Um, we could have used an and, like in D, but in order to do it, we would have needed some commas. We certainly would have needed one right here before because if we're gonna use a conjunction like and to connect two sentences, we need the comma to come with it. The word and doesn't always get commas, but it needs one here for connecting sentences. Uh, you might also need a comma after the end to kind of break into the, the intro clause, but that might be up for grabs. Um, a comma in B is not gonna do it because that's basically just a run-on sentence and we certainly need some sort of punctuation because there's definitely a shift going on here. So this is tricky um, because there's just such a lot of, there's so much going on. There's a lot of clauses, there's a lot of words, so it's easy to get lost, but your task, whenever they're testing punctuation, is to kind of separate things, break it apart, take it uh, into pieces, so that you can see where sentences begin and end. That's the only thing they're testing. So the rule is not hard, but trying to navigate all this stuff can be.